Um, thanks for having me. I'm Sarah Hartman from Lenox Hill Hospital. Um, we have no disclosures. My disclosure side is like one second, so we'll just pause to say that. Uh, so our patient was a 62-year-old male with metastatic right submandibular gland adenoid cystic carcinoma. He underwent resection of his primary tumor and then about a year later developed metastatic disease to the right lobe of the liver in segment eight, which required an extended right hepatectomy. The final pathology at that time revealed metastatic adenoid cystic carcinoma with tumor at the resection margin. Given this and the fact that the tumor was abutting the IVC and the right and middle hepatic veins, um, we offered him adjuvant radiation therapy, which he declined. The patient again presented with recurrent disease in um, his liver on, as seen on MRI. There were three worrisome lesions, one you can see there in segment two, and then an additional two lesions in segment 4A. Due to the lack of optimal systemic therapy and the fact that he was not a candidate for percutaneous ablation given the location of his colon, he was taken to the operating room for resection of the two 4A lesions and robotic microwave ablation of the larger lesion in segment two um, to preserve his liver parenchyma that he had left. He was placed in the left lateral decubitus position. Um, the bed was flexed. We started with an eight millimeter Hassan trocar um, we inserted our camera, took a look, saw that there was no metastatic disease, and then we upside to a 12 uh, millimeter air seal. We then placed four additional ports along his previous subcostal incision. So at the beginning, we found that the liver was coated in a white exudate. Um, we sent this to frozen pathology and it came back as benign. Um, but given this, again, we took another look to make sure there was no extra hepatic disease, um, which we were not able to see. Given his prior surgery, he had a lot of adhesions between the omentum and the liver, which we took some time to take down. We also removed the attachments between the liver and the colon on the right side. Um, and we dissected down to the IVC to allow us further mobilization. Lots of adhesions. <laughs> we then turned to our ablation. Um, using intraoperative ultrasound, we marked out an area of the tumor about 2.6 by 2.6 by 1.5 centimeters. We were then able to target this with our microwave ablation probes. Um, and we ablated two times, once deep and once uh, superficial. Uh, we used a 1.9 centimeter ablation zone around each probe. and um, combined, it covered about a 3.8 centimeter area. Afterwards, we looked again with ultrasound and we, sh we saw no evidence of further disease. Um, and of note, the lesion or the area that we had marked out um, covered the left hepatic vein and we were able to preserve that, which you can see here. We then turned to the segment 4A lesions. Um, again, we marked out the lesions with the ultrasound um, in order to figure out where we wanted to dissect. Um, prior to our dissection, we placed two uh, stay sutures just to kind of give us a handle and allow better mobilization um, of the specimen. Using robotic shears, um, we performed our transection. We got about midway and found that there were some crossing vessels. Um, so at that point, we decided to use the endo-GIA stapler. Um, we used 60 millimeter and 45 millimeter uh, staple loads. And just in general, the um, articulation of the instruments and the fact that we had such great high resolution visualization um, was instrumental in our delicate dissections here. We then placed our specimen into the endocatch bag. 
and um, we attained hemostasis along the cut edge of the liver um, using cautery and um, hemostatic powder. Patient's postoperative course was uncomplicated. He was discharged on postoperative day one after advancement of his diet and adequate pain control. Final pathology again showed metastatic cystic adenoid carcinoma um, with the two foci of 4A. And he was seen in the office, was recovering well, and his repeat imaging showed no um, evidence of recurrence at three months. In conclusion, the utility of a robotic assisted liver microwave ablation is relatively new, um, but can be considered in cases of tumor recurrence when percutaneous approaches are not feasible and reoperative surgery is required. Thank you. Thank you.